Alex, you're on Long Island. You're chasing a story about a first responder, a firefighter who lost his helmet, uh, the helmet that he wore on 9-11. Well, get ready for your blood to boil, Bill, because that's probably what's going to happen. This house behind me ha was having some work done when it was burglarized. Among the $20,000 worth of items that were taken, medals of this man, Michael O'Connell, former firefighter Michael O'Connell, 9-11 veteran Michael O'Connell, the thief for thieves, took his medals and they took his helmet that he was wearing on September 11, 2001, a day where he worked the pile and the wreckage of ground zero for nearly a week and lost six members of his academy class. To him, that helmet is truly precious and he wanted to pass it along to his children. It's, it's, it's a story for my children to say, this is who my father was. He was a fireman, he was there on 9-11. This is a piece of history, really what it is to my family. Now, that was three years ago. What's changed? Why are we here today? Well, last night, Michael decided that he was going to try and take this on social media. He posted a picture of his son wearing the helmet from a few years ago. And within hours, the whole thing went viral. And he got thousands of likes, messages, and help from around the world. I have news crews in my house. I have 8 million views on a, on a thing. And this is not me. This is just the way this thing works. And it's just amazing how, how people just are, able, are willing to help. Unfortunately, he's, the helmet has still not been returned to him. But Michael and his wife, Rebecca, are having a no questions asked policy. The helmet could be lift, left on my front porch, thrown on my lawn. I won't ask any questions. Just give it back and uh, we'll be happy. What did the cops say? I mean, is this a dead case now? Is it cold? The family said the police were very thorough. But... A lot of these burglary cases, they go cold very quickly, and there's no one following up on cold case burglaries from three years ago. They simply don't have the manpower for it. Was it specific, like it had badge number? Was it anything that was unique to the helmet? Yeah, it's, it says uh, 142 across the, across the top of it. That's the, uh, the ladder company, the engine company that he had been with. What a completely depraved thief. He clearly saw this helmet and thinks that he can somehow gather that glory for himself. This thief has no idea what it takes to be a firefighter like that, a person of character like that, and it's really unfortunate. The family says that for them, you know, it's obviously was and is painful to have something that's treasured to them missing, but they are so encouraged by literally thousands of people from around the world that have seen this story and are simply reaching out to them, contacting them, saying, we're pulling for you, we're praying for you, and we want you to get this prized possession back.